What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming here to bring you guys the Oryx Challenge exactly what Bungie is asking for. We got it done. It was released what a couple hours ago. Here I am making a commentary for it, uploading it for you guys. So hopefully you guys can get it done. I'm going to show you guys exactly how we got it done, my thought process, how I led the team, all that good stuff. Now if you notice, I'm actually not on my account. That's because you guys, we do this for our supporters. We do it for our followers on our live stream. If you guys haven't stopped by, please do so. You know, we, I'm really trying to make this something for the long run. Grow the Destiny community because the Destiny community is one of the most loving, amazing communities, period. And you guys have to know that both the TKO Gaming Brothers are in this for the long run. Together, we have literally carried, and this is not an exaggeration, 16 hundred guardians to the lighthouse we started on the very first weekend of trials in the first week of year one and we're, we do it every single week friday saturday sunday monday all day long just stop by twitch.tv slash real tko gaming best way to stay connected is subscribe to the youtube and also make sure to go and follow the twitch to make a twitch account it's absolutely free so please do that join the tko gaming family all the details are there and in the description below. So as you guys saw, I was on platform number two. Yes, you have to kill the knights. You guys guessed it. 16 orbs, one bang, and Oryx needs to die. So make sure that every single ogre as it comes up dies immediately. And the corresponding knight eater, the blight eater I should say, that knight dies immediately as well. Now, keep in mind, you can rewind this video to see where the placement is and everything that we're doing. Essentially, all we want to do is once the ogres are down immediately and the knights are also down, then we just stay together as a group, make sure Oryx staggers, and then when, when we come down here, this we're killing all the enemies to get our super back. If, as you guys can see, all of our supers will be back by the end of the round. And if you do no damage to Oryx, for example, we're not, we're not detonating any of the blights. That means that every single round, we're going to get teleported into the shade of Oryx or whatever it's called, the shade. We're going to get teleported in that big bubble you see on, this, on the screen. So during this bubble part, you want to make sure that you're killing all of the knights outside. Now, I got teleported first, so I couldn't do anything, but I know my teammates are going to do their best to make sure they kill the knights and make sure those little goblin things aren't coming in. But you'll notice that those goblin things are still coming in. Keep in mind, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Don't panic. The teamwork needs to be there. Just look at that. I'm helping my team out. I'm shooting the Shadow of Oryx or whatever the hell it's called. And you know we're 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 doing good we're if you guys look at our build we're five hunters and only one titan granted this is much easier if you have more titans and more warlocks for self res and bubble purposes and whatnot but we are five night stalker hunters and one titan but we got it done guys so if we can do it you can do it, it we're no special you know the the thing is is that this game is all about teamwork it's all about having fun so make sure you guys have fun with it um but yeah after you get done with that you come back out and you reset up what i did was i assigned every single individual a platform i assigned a solid runner and we stick with it till the end till the wheels fall off we stick with it so i'm always going to be platform number two if you guys notice oryx is over there it's always it always goes counterclockwise so i'm platform number two he fist slams um relic holder gets that then he goes up the second guy goes up to stand on the platform i'm the second platform guy so i go up now to stand on the platform and then the third guy goes up remember the fourth platform doesn't need to be it doesn't need to have anybody on it now this is definitely stuff that you guys already know but i just want to reiterate it for any new destiny players that may be watching this but this is a little bit more advanced so maybe you should watch my other videos on my channel um that explain all the other basics of oryx and all the other raids and stuff you know i've been making videos for a very long time and i always want to make the best videos to help you guys succeed in this stuff because man i'm telling you the loot and the and, and the just the emblem and the shader all the good stuff is it's just so good this guy at the end got a 320 helmet the shader the ship 
all this beautiful stuff. So I was really happy to, to you know, help this guy out who's been supporting the stream for a very long time, who's been a follower of the stream for the very for a very long time. So yeah, keep in mind, guys, for whether it be Trials of Osiris or the raid, we can do it for you or we can do it with you. It's that simple. So once again, we're over here. It's it's just rinse and repeat, guys. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. The this is actually really easy. If you can get past killing the ogres immediately. Now, if you guys notice, we have one relic runner. We have three people on platforms, and we have two people on the top pillars who will be floaters. What we call them as floaters. One of those two people that are on top of the pillars that are floaters will be in charge of the fourth ogre and the fourth knight. Obviously, we're all going to help out and kill wherever we need to, but he's in charge of it, right? It's very good to assign roles to people to make sure they have accountability, right? So make sure you guys do that. At the end of the day, teamwork makes the dream work, my friends, and stay positive at the end of the day. No need to just rage. Or there's really no need. I, I saw a lot of people doing this, and some people were raging, but surprisingly, a lot of people stayed positive because... That's what it's all about, having fun while you game. So once again, we get uh, teleported in. We want to make sure that we're doing massive damage on this Shadow of Oryx. I could be butchering that. I don't know. I don't really care. It's really late right now. I just want to get this out to you guys so you guys can have this, so you can complete it the next day, baby. Um, and remember, if you cannot, please stop by in the stream. We'll do whatever we can to help you out. Um, we do prioritize the people that support the stream, the people that donate to the stream. And that's simply because we just, I mean, a lot of people just come, get what they want, get their flawless, get their raid, and they're gone, and we never see them again. So we have a very cool system set up in stream. The more you watch in the stream, you get beat bucks. With those beat bucks and with those currencies, you can actually go and cash in for Trials of Osiris. So what it is just in-stream currency. If you want to be a donator and support the stream fundraiser to improve the YouTube quality and Twitch quality, then you can actually jump the line and be the top priority. But still, at the end of the day, it encourages people to actually be loyal, loyal supporters rather than those individuals that are like, oh, let me just go and fake support someone, get what I want, and then bounce, right? Because, I mean, you got to value everyone's time and their loyalty because TKO Gaming here is actually trying to make this a huge thing. Like, I know we're not nearly as big as uh, some of the other people and, and not hating on any of them. Shout out to every single one of you guys who's put in the work, who's gotten to where you need to be, but that's what we're doing. We're trying to put in the work and get to where we need to be. So any support is is highly appreciated. And, you know, just at the end of the day, man, if you guys can't support, the best way to support really is to just tell your friends about it. Share, I mean, hey, share this video with your friends. Like, simple. You know, it'll get them to subscribe to the channel. It'll get the family to grow. Um, we're two brothers that love beatboxing, that love gaming, that love competitive gaming. We've been in competitive shooters since Halo, the inception of Halo. From Halo, Call of Duty, Gears of War, all those games, now Destiny. I mean, big, big, big fans of Bungie and, and what they've created with the games that they've developed. So anyways i'm sure we're saying stuff that you know everyone can relate to because we if you're not if you're watching this video obviously you have some sort of passion for gaming so don't let that passion die my friends do not let it die it's a beautiful thing to have it's a great outlet in life you know life can suck uh, that's what i always like to say life can sometimes be horrible but being able to just game and just kind of put yourself in a in a kind of a different world it means a lot it really does so as you guys see here I didn't get teleported anytime soon, so I'm actually helping with all those taken outside so they don't come in and hurt my friends. And now, look, I come in, I'm like, oh, no, don't knife me, no. And, okay, well, luckily, my brother was there to take the hit. But, um, yeah, so you want to make sure that, you know, you want to kill this thing as fast as possible. So I think I'm going to go ahead and tether here. Um, and, dude, I'm telling you, man, night. Nice soccer shadow shots are, are, are really good, man. They, they really, really do come in clutch for that part. So, uh, oh, remember to pop your three of coins there, too. I didn't pop it. I should have done it, but oh, uh, make sure you pop it because I'm pretty sure my brother got um, got an exotic drop from that. Um, but as you guys know, this is not my gamer tag that I'm on. Um, my actual gamer tag. If you see my other videos, you'll know what it is. Obviously, it has TKO in it, and so does my brother's gamer tag as well. Um, but this is pretty much the last blight run or the last wave of oryx look at those beautiful orbs you want to make sure that nobody goes into those orbs now keep in mind the things that can actually ignite those orbs um are the well, obviously the blight eaters the the night i'm actually trying to shoot 
and kill, which I did. Uh, and then they have the uh, the vessel. The vessel can also, if the vessel walks in, he can also detonate it. So make sure the vessel doesn't uh, get in. And be careful of that ship. I've died by that ship way too many times in this raid. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. But Oryx pretty much pounds his fist down, opens his big old chest. We're going to make him stagger real, real good. And once he's staggered, we're going to do a good countdown. Make sure everybody gets in all these at the same time. Just make sure they all detonate, man. Each individual assigned to their specific one, make sure they detonate. Remember, one of the floaters will be going to the fourth ogre detonate spot. Uh, make sure you assign everybody correctly. Make sure everyone individually understands their role. Because if you do not understand your role, you seriously should not be talking about anyone else's role. You need to make sure you're very, 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 very familiar with your own role before anyone else and if you guys notice that bubble hashtag bubble boy shout out to prod but yeah here you go oryx is dead peace out put the grieving because i'm so happy that i got it done and i can put it out for you guys and there is that 50th calcified fragment who knows what that brings man hopefully it's an exotic primary we noted that it was just nothing special at all i don't think we got anything and the emblem didn't drop because this guy's uh, emblem uh, inventory was full but i'm gonna go ahead and open the screen up to show you guys but please you guys if you guys could hit a big thumbs up in this video if we can get like one like in this video from you guys that would be awesome help the channel grow subscribe come over to the twitch say what's up and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out baby stay blessed